the Israeli apartheid regime, along with its settler colonialism, serves as the root causes of all crimes, hindering the Palestinian people from exercising their fundamental rights and freedom. The international community should take steps to implement the provisional measures of the International Court of Justice in the case of South Africa versus Israel, challenging and isolating the Israeli brutal illegal regime through boycott, the prohibition of engagement with products and companies associated with settlements, and the suspension of Israel's membership to international organizations. Besides the unfolding situation after October 7, proves once again that without addressing the root cause of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, there can be no peace in the region. Israeli-Palestinian conflict did not start on 7 October 2023. The conflict is not about a certain Palestinian faction or group. The conflict dates back to an earlier century. But the real obstacle to peace is obvious. The deepening occupation by Israel of the Palestinian territories, including East Jerusalem, and failure to implement the two-state vision, Israel and Palestine living side by side. The Palestinian people have a legal right to the immediate end of the occupation. And Israel has a correlative legal duty to immediately terminate the occupation. This right exists and operates simply and exclusively because the Palestinian people are entitled to it. It does not depend on others agreeing to its realization. It is a right. It's a repudiation of trusteeship whereby colonial peoples were ostensibly to be granted freedom only if and when they were deemed ready because of their stage of development determined by the racist standard of civilization. The anti-colonial self-determination rule replaced this with a right based on the automatic immediate entitlement of all people to freedom without preconditions. Every institutional dialogue will be taken into account unless we take into account the situation in Gaza. How can we talk about this while Gaza is under ashes? How can we turn a blind while the people of Gaza are displaced, subjected to the worst violations of human rights? We have called repeatedly the international community to bear its responsibility to put an end to escalation and, viol and war to protect civilians in order to pave the way for a clear-cut, legitimate peace process which includes all parties. We warn against the da disastrous repercussions on threats to attack Rafah as the last uh, refuge for civilians, civilians who are there due to uh, the displacement by Israeli army. In spite of 30,000 dead and starvation of millions, a lack of security and lack of basic needs, i.e. medicine, water and energy, we see that the Security Council achieves no results in this regard. We reject double standards in this context as well as selections. We call for the implementation of Security Council Resolution 27 2020 and lift uh, restrictions on the delivery and entry of human aid in order to alleviate the unjustified human suffering.